So now you already know how to create a variable. At this point, it is important not to continue with a new command line in order to rush to the final destination, but to take a breath and truly really understand this concept. From a philosophical point of view, programming is only three different ideas, loops, if statement and variables. So the only thing that stands between you and the creations of everything that you ever wanted is to really understand how these procedures works and how you can combine them in numerous ways in order to create a masterpiece. I hope that I have persuaded you with all this rambling to give it time and try to solve every problem on your own. Don't just watch the video passively, this is not really the way in programming. I believe that you already know what is modulo from your student years. If you don't, the modulo is equal to the division reminder. For example, if we divide 5 with 2, we will have modulo 1. And if we divide 4 with 2, we will have modulo 0. The modulo symbol in Python is the percentage symbol. As you can see here, 5 mod 2 is equal to 1 and 4 mod 2 is equal to 0. Now the interesting part starts if we think that we can create our own modulo, because every symbol in your programming language is actually a function, which runs in the background. So from mathematics we can recall that d is equal to d multiplied by r plus m. I'm not sure if we use the same symbols, but the idea is always the same. The number that we want to divide is the d, then the number it is divided with is d, and the final result is r. As you can understand, the modulo or the final result is equal to m. One example will help you really understand this equation. So let's assume that we want to calculate the 5 mod 2. d is equal to 5, d is equal to 2, and the result of course is 2. So 5 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 plus m. With basic calculations, m is equal to 1. This is an easy and intuitive method to find m. You can again use it for the 4 mod 2, which basically is 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 plus m, so m is equal to 0. So with that in mind, m is equal to d minus d multiplied by result. In this case, the user already gives us the d and the d, because we have 5 mod 2. And now we need to find the result. How can the computer calculate this number? The idea is basically really simple. The result is actually the integer part of the division between d and d. For example, 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2,5. So the integer part is 2. And this can be used here. Now that we have already created the idea of the program with pen and paper, it is really easy to create a program. So we need to have an input for the user, but I want to focus on the important part. So we can just write it down, d is equal to 4 from the user, and d is equal to t, again from the user. Now the computer needs to calculate the result, so r is equal to integer part of d divided by d. And the modulo is equal to d minus d multiplied by result. Finally, we need to print the final result, so print m. Let's see the results. Okay, the results are actually correct. Let's try it again with 5. Okay, again this is correct.